What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about mountain biking shoes. So here's the thing, um, I stated this in my last thank you video to my subscribers and the thing is, is I've been a, a shoe fanatic since I was a kid. Um, I got a lot of pairs of shoes. So shoes to me, uh, regardless if they're work shoes, if they're street shoes, if they're hiking shoes, mountain biking shoes, their beach shoes, whatever the case may be. I just like to be a little stylish with the shoes that I wear or just wear something a little bit different. And so um, I'm also a big Nike fanatic because I've been wearing Nike shoes since I was a little kid as well. And um, I've, I'm also an avid runner. I've been running for over 25 years. And so because of that, I've always stuck with the Nike brand as well. So I'm here to kind of talk a little bit about um, alternatives to mountain biking shoes that you can buy specifically for the sport. So I do understand that there's different name brands out there of companies that make shoes just for mountain biking and you pretty much already know what those brands are. But I see a lot of people sometimes on the trails wearing anything. I've seen people wearing Chuck Taylors, the Converse's, I've seen people wearing um, running shoes, I've seen people wearing boots, you know, um, and you can tell those guys are probably not the diehard fanatic, you know, mountain bike riders, but um, I've seen some of everything on the trail, you name it, I've seen people wear it, so some people just don't take it that serious. Um, if you're one of those people, like myself, because I don't wear clipless pedals, I stick with the, uh, well, I stick with the race face Chester pedals for my bikes, but, um, if you're not clipless and you and you and you want to kind of know about an alternative to some of the uh, specifically designed mountain bike shoes that are on the market, I kind of want to talk talk a little bit about some of the Nike shoes that Nike wears that actually do a good job when riding your mountain bike. And so, a lot of people may not know that Nike makes, you know, they're known for their running shoes. They started off with the waffle racing shoe, right? And so. They make certain shoes for certain things. Of course, they got basketball and tennis shoes and things of that nature, but a lot of their shoes, the running trail shoes, are really good for all kind of outdoor activities, dealing with woods, uh, grass, mud, things of that nature. Um, also, the ACG line, which stands for All Condition Gear line, has a lot of good products that they make for hiking, trail walking, um, and just other outdoor uses. So I have three brand, three Nike models in particular that I kind of want to talk to you about that I personally think are great. Well, I don't personally think, I know because I've been riding in these shoes on my bike uh, and they've been, they've been perfect for me and I'll actually show why. So the first one I'm going to talk about, and these are kind of dirty and muddy because, not muddy, but they're dirty because I do put them through use and this is the one I've been using the most. This is the Wild Horse series made by Nike and so you can go on Nike's website right now and you can find the wild horse shoes uh, so this particular shoe is a trail running shoe it's specifically made to be um, used to run outdoors on trails and when I say trails I mean rocks mud grass whatever the case may be but one of the things that you'll quickly realize about this shoe is the actual treading on the bottom of the shoe has big grips. It almost looks like a tire underneath. When I say tire, um, I mean the tires with grip. Like, honestly, the treading on this looks like the Maxxis Aggressor or the Maxxis High Roller or the Maxxis uh, Minion tire. That's, that's pretty much what this shoe has underneath it. And I got one of my Chester pedals right here. And I just want to show you how these grips actually lock in on the Chester pedal. Now, it's not going to keep it up due to gravity. I can't necessarily just hold it like this and expect it to stay. But these actual, um, these tra the traction on the bottom of the shoe is basically almost inside of the pedal. Not only that, the actual pegs on the pedal help keep, these, uh, keep the traction part of the shoe in place. So I very rarely slip at all when wearing this shoe while mountain bike riding. It's my go-to shoe um, when I'm actually on, on the trail. So this shoe is a shoe that I highly recommend. This one right here, this model is the Zoom 
Wild Horse 4, and it is an older model. I think Nike is on either the Wild Horse 5, maybe even 6 by now um, model. But most of the Wild Horses all have this traction at the bottom of the shoe. So if you're going to go with a comfortable, lightweight shoe, um, I, would, I would definitely recommend this shoe. It's giving me no problems at all when it comes to breathability, durability, and the traction on the actual um, pedal of the bike. So this is one. And I also have, actually, um, this one right here is made by Nike, but it's the ACG one that I was talking about. So this is the all condition gear shoe. Now this one is actually more of a mid, a mid-level um, boot. But when I say this thing is like the lightest boot ever, like this thing is like extremely light. It's actually, let me this way, it's about the same. I would say the same as this shoe. But again, this is a low top. This is a, a mid top and it is very, very light um, for, the, uh, for, the, for the weight of the shoe. Um, this one does not have as much traction on the bottom as that one did. The traction here is more so on the side of the shoe. But the cool thing about this shoe is the grooves that it has underneath it as well. When placed on the actual pedal, these pegs go into these grooves, like almost perfectly in here. And again, it's not gonna just do it standing by itself without me holding on to the shoe but the pegs are in there and it's a firm, a firm grip on the pedal. Um, these right here have the uh, holes for the breathability on the front of the toe of the boot and on the side as well. This is called the Nike ACG Ruckel Ridge. Ruckel, R-U-C-K-E-L, Ridge. Um, these sold out on Nike's sneakers app, uh, I think almost immediately when they dropped. They came in about three or four different colorways and they sold out almost immediately. I lucked up and found these pair at my local Nike store um, here in Orlando, and I got them. These were regular, $180, and I got these shoes for like 60 bucks. So yeah, um, couldn't beat the price for 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 what these can can go through and what they um, can actually put up with when it comes to dirt and mud. Um, I also like the fact that there's no laces in this. This is the lock lace system that you just pull. So there's no actual laces that you tie. The actual has the, the sock, um, the sock uh, expandable um, entryway right here for the foot. And then it also has your, um, your grips on the back, the pull tabs, I mean the pull tabs, but the pull grips on the back to easily slide the foot in. Um, I was just amazed when I picked these up. I remember when these dropped, but I really wasn't looking for them because, you know, I really didn't think I needed any mountain boots. But when I saw them in store and I saw them for the low price and I picked it up in hand and saw how light this shoe was, I was really amazed at, um, at how the quality is on this shoe and the lightweightness of the shoe and the actual pattern of grip that's on the bottom. I see why it's definitely a hiking shoe because um, it really has a unique pattern on the bottom. But yeah, this is a shoe that I definitely am going to wear in. I actually got two pairs of these, one for home in North Carolina and one for here in Florida. So I'm um, looking forward to getting those out on the trail as well. And then lastly, this is a uh, another pair of Nikes. Um, now these have the almost the exact same grip pattern as the Wild Horses did. Um, this is a little bit lighter, different colorway as well. Actually, no, I take that back. This is the Wild Horse. This is the Wild Horse 3, I'm sorry. This is the actual older version of the first Wild Horse that I show you, showed you. And I haven't even worn these yet. Um, and so same pattern as before. And again, it has that exact same traction that you can see goes right along on the pedal. And so it helps with slipping and things of that nature. These pedals are already great anyway because they have the actual you know, uh, metal pegs that help keep your foot in place. But this rubber grip on these shoes in particular definitely help you help your foot stay in place. And so I'm, making, I'm basically wanting to make this video to let people know you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a specific you know, expensive mountain bike shoe 
um, especially if you don't ride clipless, uh, to, to have a good grip on the pedals. You can go with Nikes, you can, I'm sure Adidas or any other brand makes, or uh, um, whatever brand you want to choose, uh, makes um, good shoes that can stay on the pedal and, and have a good grip as well. But those are a particular models I wanted to share with Nike that they make that if you guys wanted to look into, go to the Nike website and check out as well. Um, the good thing about these shoes is that they're breathable, they're lightweight, and they're designed for trails and they have good grip. Um, I think that makes a difference to me and to me, in my opinion, I think they're kind of stylish. I like the kind of crazy colorways on them as well. And so that's just kind of what I like. Again, this is just my opinion. I know some of you think that's a bit too much. Some of you think the colors may be a little bit too loud. Some of you may think, oh, Nike is a running shoe. I don't want it. Um, but hey, it works for me. It actually works really, really good for me. And I just highly recommend um, these particular shoes for mountain bike riding. So again, look into it. Nike does make trail shoes for running. Any type of trail shoe that Nike makes for running is usually going to be a good shoe that's going to hold grip on a mountain bike pedal. Um, the Pegasus makes a trail shoe. Uh, the Nike Pegasus line. I think the Nike Lunar line, the Wild Horse. Um, and there's another one, but I can't remember the name of it that Nike makes that's a trail running shoe as well. It's, it starts with a T, I think Tiagra or something like that. But it's a, it's a Nike trail running shoe that has a lot of grip on it as well. Um, the ACG line, now they make a lot of shoes that are, the ACG stands for all conditioned gear, meaning it's made and designed to be worn outdoors. And so they don't just make boots and mid tops, they make low tops as well. So any of the ACG line I would look at, and basically what you're looking at when you check for these shoes, it's just the type of grip that's on the bottom of them. If they have any type of grip that can grip onto the pedal, especially if you're using the Chester pedals or any pedal that has any type of, um, you know, good um, spikes or any good, um, what do you call them? I can't even think of the name of these. Uh, the, the little stems that are on here, if they have any any of those on the pedal, it's your shoe with these brands or, or these particular models of Nike are, are going to are going to do just fine. So just wanted to show you guys that, hey, you don't have to spend a lot of money on shoes. I got all of these shoes on sale. Orlando has Nike clearance stores and Nike factory stores all over the place around here. And you can get these shoes pretty cheap. Um, even on the Nike website, a lot of times these shoes go on clearance and go on sale because it's just not a lot of people who buy trail running shoes or trail mountain shoes. So um, you will find them on sale pretty frequently. So just check for those sales and then check out the website as well, like the Foot Locker and Foot Action and Finish Line and things of that nature. They may sell the sell same shoe and use a coupon code or something like that because they always have coupon codes that they're sending me for 20% off or 25% off. Um, the Wild Horses, they start at 110 and no, I never pay full retail. I probably paid maybe 40 bucks for those particular shoes. So if you can get them for a decent price, man, I highly recommend these. Um, I wouldn't pay full retail if that's the only reason why you're buying them. I do a lot of running, so I run on trails as well. And so, uh, you know, to me, I would pay full price if I was actually using them to run in. Um, and I have other shoes for that as well. But these in particular I bought for mountain biking uh, because I know that the grip is good. I'm already using the Wild Horse 4 on some of mine. So that's about it, guys. I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I know some of you want to probably disagree and think that, you know, oh, you need to go with this brand or that brand or that's not really a mountain biking shoe. But I assure you that certain shoes can be used in certain ways and more than just one particular way. Just because Nike says it's a running shoe doesn't necessarily mean that you can only wear it to run in. Um, when you go to the gym, you'll see people wearing all kinds of shoes, you know, at the gym, but they're doing, let's say, CrossFit but yet they're wearing, you know, running shoes instead of a training shoe. Or people who are lifting weights, you know, instead of using, let's say, the Nike Metcons, you know, they're using, you know, um, uh, maybe a walking shoe or something like that. So, you know, a lot of people use shoes for different reasons, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that just because, you know, it's labeled as a running shoe that it has to be used as a running shoe. This shoe is just as comfortable. I've looked at some mountain bike shoes at some of my local stores and literally the weight is usually just as just about the same as this um 
Most of them do not have as good as ventilation. Most of them um, do have the same type of lacing or locking system. Um, some of them are heavier than this. Some of them are about the same. Some of, most of them do not have this type of good traction on it. You know, some of them are like flat, like almost they look like uh, Chuck All Stars or something on the bottom of them, um, or have smooth surfaces. So, so yeah, I would just highly recommend these, man. These are these are my go-to mountain bike shoes right here. Um, the Wild Horses and these ACGs are going to be my new ones as well. But I think if I overall had to rate any shoe to wear, the Nike Wild Horse would be the one that I would go with. So um, a friend of mine actually saw these in Ross on sale for like $30 or $40. So check your local Ross store as well and see if you can find them um, you know, down there. You may be able to actually get them for a little price down there as well. So other than that, guys, that's about it. Check you out in the next video. Peace.